Iron promotes non-enzymatic reactions, which are similar to those required for life, which gives scientists an insight into how life may have begun many, many eons ago. Welcome to ASM's Microbial Minutes, where we discuss what's hot in the microbial sciences. I'm Julie Wolf, and this is the Is He Alive or Dead edition, a reference to Black Sabbath's Iron Man, because we will be t- discussing iron at the core of the nature paper that we're talking about. In this paper, the scientists have shown that key metabolic players can be formed without enzymes in the presence of iron. And it's that without enzymes phrase, which is really key in this finding here. Now, uh, scientists have known for a long time that there are a few carbon-based intermediate compounds, which serve as a basis for all building blocks of life. These are generally uh, made from the things that we eat and converted into these carbon compounds from the uh, TCA cycle or the Krebs cycle, as it's called. And from there, they're shunted into other metabolic pathways where they make the building blocks of life. Things like nucleotides, uh, nucleic acids, uh, amino acids, lipids, the things that, that make a cell a cell. And it's the reliance on key intermediates throughout all of the kingdoms of life, from a single-celled bacteria to a multicellular metazoan animal, uh, that there is uh, the requirement for these particular compounds, which may have even preceded the formation of some of these biomolecules, things like nucleic acids that may have eventually formed RNAs, for example. Now, we've talked on a previous microbial minutes about how sulfur can act as a catalyst for interconversion of some of these um, key carbon molecules. And now in this report, scientists are studying iron as a, a catalyst due to the modeling which they did, suggesting that many of these biochemical reactions may occur without the enzymes which are required in uh, inside of cells. It may occur in the presence of iron. And so they tested that, uh, they they took the actual chemistry and then performed the reactions in the presence of iron um, and at 70 degrees Celsius, which is pretty warm. And that's the reason that I'm showing the the deep oceanic vent on the right-hand side there, because although it's not really mentioned in this paper, a lot of the uh, scientists who have worked on this metabolic theory of the origin of life have thought that the conditions were ripe at these particular deep oceanic vents for some of this chemistry to occur. On the next slide, we'll see the reactions that the scientists observed based on the actual experiments that they ran. They incubated um, carbon-13 labeled glyoxylate or pyruvate uh, with the, in the presence of iron, and they were able to observe all of the compounds which are labeled in black here, the ones that are grayed out, they, they weren't able to detect. Uh, But you can see that most of the major components of the TCA cycle, which I mentioned, uh, as well as another important metabolic cycle, the glyoxylate uh, cycle, were observed, all formed without the presence of any enzymes to do that interconversion step. Now, this was picked up in a couple of trade outlets. It was covered in Chemical and Engineering News, uh, who interviewed the senior scientist, Joseph Moran, who pointed out that one of the interesting results was that they were almost selectively getting only the compounds at the core of biochemistry, which suggests that uh, under the correct conditions that some of these uh, biomolecule precursors could even be quite prevalent in certain areas uh, of the earth, even without the presence of those those um, life-dependent enzymes. And uh, the first author, Camilla Muchowska, was quoted in a a press release, which was picked up by phys.org, as saying, we think chemical metabolism could have built the precursors of biological cycles this way before ATP and enzymes existed. These chemical precursors may have led to the generation of biomolecules like RNA, uh, RNA being another molecule that many scientists think was one of the first self-replicating biomolecules on Earth. So we've heard about how um, iron can catabolize metabolic reactions without the presence of enzymes. If you want more uh, more updates on abiogenesis and theories of how that may have occurred, go ahead and click subscribe. I'd like to thank you for listening and thank Ray Ortega for production. I'm Julie Wolf. And we'll be back next time with Microbial Minutes.